A lot of this week in the studio has been talking about people who have weak glutes. And what happens when your glutes are weak is it really depends on what glutes we're talking about. If you have weakness in your glute need and knee, when you're trying to step and you're trying to come up, it doesn't support you. So we get a drop to the other side. When you get that drop to the other side, it causes torsion and a rotation on the knee, which can cause knee pain. So what we've been focusing on in the clinic is aligning the leg, trying to keep the pelvis level. So when you step, the pelvis is level and it comes down level. Now, if you're finding that when you step, you drop and the hip comes out, you're gonna be using more quads and kind of more hip flexors to help you get up, but also your QL in your spine. So the movement starts to kind of look a bit like this. We're getting back and a drop. And then people will start to complain of hip pain, knee pain, back pain, and tightness in this area. A similar thing happens if you're kind of weak, you might find that you're here but to get kind of the push, if your hamstrings and glutes aren't working, is you then pull from the other side. So what it looks like from the back is instead of getting kind of the movement coming level, what we get is a drop and then we pull from here or we pull from here. Either way, it leads to basically hip and pelvis, knee and lower back dysfunction. That can lead to hip and pelvis, knee and lower back pain. So if you're looking at working and you're trying to do things like step ups, make sure that you're in a line. If you can't quite come right the way out, then we've been kind of focusing on just maybe coming up onto the back heel rather than stepping all the way up and trying not to hike or try not to drop. So hips are aligned. The other thing that you need to be aware of is the thigh, that you're leaving a little bit of a gap here, otherwise you're collapsing. And then we find that you overuse your adductors, which can also lead to knee pain. Let me know if you'd like any more kind of information or training on this. Um, but yeah, glute need amine are your stabilizers at the side of the hip. They need to work to keep your hip in alignment. So they create that movement here. If it's weak, you'll drop. And your glute max is your power muscle, which works with your hemi.